Well, hi there. Welcome back. Dan again from Clean Guru. So I had the chance today to stop out to the office of the cleaning business that we sold, Tony and I, years ago. I try to go out there about once or twice a year just to see how they're doing. And this morning I went out, I get up kind of early, 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning. It's a Sunday morning. And I was able to catch the manager that I know so well out there. And we had a really nice visit, probably only 15 minutes or so. Kind of was, it was nice to catch up, see how his family was doing and so on. And then ask how the cleaning business is doing. But it was just nice. nice. At one point though, I did say, listen, I don't want to get in the way, you know, if you've got a lot going on this morning, I don't want to be a bother to that. He said, no, no. He said, listen, I got a call off. I got to take care about a steel company that we take care of. And I have a couple other things that I need to, to take care of and get arranged for, but I'm fine. It was just really interesting to hear him say, I have a call off that I got to take care of. I have a couple other issues I need to address. He didn't say there was a call off. No, he says, I have this and I'm taking care of it. It showed that he was really invested, really bought in. He, he has a sense of ownership to the problem so, and the authority to take care of them. And I think it's just a terrific thing. Um, this person was a great manager when we were there, and I'm sure he is still that same way for them. And so it's just a great thing. And I hope that for your cleaning business, I hope you can develop a handful of folks like that and then another handful and then another handful and it can make life really so much better uh, in your company. Now, how do you do that? A couple tips I'd pass along are number one, try to, try to inform people as much as you can about what's going on. So the successes and also the failures and any changes, make sure people feel informed and up to date. That helps. Give them authority, if you can, within reason, with, with the authority that you can to have them feel empowered to take care of problems. Have them feel empowered to reach your goals of uh, taking care of the customers, taking care of the cleaning personnel. Um, and then support, trust them and support them. That's another thing. I mean, if they come to you the next day and say, listen, I ran over to a store and I spent uh, 50 bucks on supplies because I needed to get this. And we were shorthanded and I needed uh, supplies and we needed this. Well, you might say, listen, it's a little expensive. We don't normally go there, but I, it's okay. Let's not do it all the time, but I appreciate that you were trying to take care of a problem to make sure the customer was okay and the cleaning person was okay. Uh, that can really go a long way because if you have folks that feel like they're really invested in, uh, in the company, um, then you can sleep a lot easier knowing that you have someone really responsible running things when you're not at the office. And it also just makes for a much better working environment. So I, my hope for you is that you find a whole bunch of folks like that. Till next time, remember, you can do this. You really can.